on today's video we got the boat behind us we got a generator in the back of the truck we got a lot more in the back of the truck we got a cooler full of food and other items in the back of the truck that can only mean that we're heading to the camp to do some fishing Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter for Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And like I said earlier, we're heading into the camp for a few days. We brought the boat along, we're gonna do some fishing. The weather's a little bit touch and go. We're just gonna have to see how, uh, how it plays out. I'm gonna try to get out fishing a little bit this evening. Got my son Nick behind the camera. I think my son Pete is gonna be coming out here tomorrow night to do some fishing with us. And this video here will probably be part one of a multi-part series of videos um, over the next three, four days that we're gonna be doing. But anyways, thought you guys might wanna come along and check it out with us. Well, glad we brought the mower. <laughs> yeah. a lot of you guys out there know this especially you guys that have used coolers and ice and you need to kind of have it last a few days but like we brought out some uh, ground venison burger you know from the deer that my wife shot and we made sure this was good and frozen you know it's always good to have uh, some frozen meats to throw in the cooler that gives you a few extra days you know obviously we're not going to be eating that tonight but in a couple days it should be loosening up and it'll be just right for us. Same thing with this uh, steak for steak sandwiches. We had this uh, good and froze, stuck it in the cooler, and that'll be ready to go in a few days from now. So it's always a good idea if you're gonna be depending on ice and coolers, especially if you need it to last for a few days, freeze up some of those meats and it'll keep things cooler for a little longer. I'm getting better, Nick, I'm putting them on the top rack that so they won't get quite so crispy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What do you think? Think they're ready? Yeah, I think so. Definitely not burnt. No. No, I think they're just perfect. Rebel hot Polish sausage with some pasta salad, spicy brown mustard, and Nick is opting for the uh, buns. Yeah. All right. Dead. Hmm. The batteries are dead. Oh, that's what that light means. Yeah, when it blinks like that. weather did clear up a little bit but it didn't clear up till pretty late in the evening so no fishing tonight um, but uh, I think we're gonna light the sauna uh, so we got that going for us all right the front there okay. just did a new lake Yeah, yeah, open up the tank. You always want to make sure there's water up above the two hoses. So we're good there. Yeah. Alright, I think that's gonna go. 
Sounds like it's going pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Pretty good now. Oh yeah, water is hot. We got lots of hot water, and it is getting quite warm in here. I think it's time to wash up. I hit the spot. Nice. You next? Yeah. All right. All right, Nick. How was that? Great. All right. Awesome. Clean and refreshed, right? Yeah. All right. Very good. Well, take a look and see if there's anything exciting on the game camera. Hmm. Well, that's kind of exciting. And so is that. I would say that's definitely a wolf. Right here we have a couple of coyote pictures. And here's that same wolf picture again. As you can see, it looks much larger than the coyote. All right guys, one little nightcap before I turn in tonight. Um, did you guys ever have a shot out of a bowling pin? This is uh, Jim Beam's 10 pin, full 10 years old, okay? Um, but actually, I would not be surprised if this was more like 40 years old, because I think this has been sitting at my dad's house for an awfully long time until about say 10 years ago when it made its way out here. I'll have a little shot of this tonight before we turn in. Mm -hmm. Looks just like a bowling pin. Pretty smooth, no doubt. Okay guys, be sure to watch for part two of this video series, and spoiler alert, we actually get out fishing in part two. Now if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and subscribe, and also remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.